I don't think that the gay discos were closeted. It was very much um, segregated. There, there uh, was never any black person around. Uh, in, in the Cape Town discos, it was also frequented by the so-called Cape colored persons, uh, people. But um, no, I don't think it was closeted. It was quite open. There were fabulous bars. Whereas I think, um, Studio, what was it? Studio 54 in New York um, became a celebrity place and, and Liza Manelli was seen there and, and, and every celebrity was seen there. Um, here it wasn't the case, here it was very much a case of it was strictly gay. But it so happened that gay discos became known and then opened the doors to straight couples and it very soon the straight couples took it over because it was a very nice place to be with amongst the gays and gays being fickle would then move away and go and a new place would open elsewhere. What happens in a gay disco tonight is fashion worldwide tomorrow. Most of the fashions and most of, of, of um, expressions that we have and etc. all come from, from gay clubs and by incident and somebody repeats it and it's you know, all over. The gay discos were fabulous. They were fabulous because suddenly people could dance freely and, and uh, before that it was like formal dancing, you know, sucky sucky and, and nobody did. And so the gay discos came on and the gay discos, I think, brought a lot of freedom and, and, and all this the so-called gay vernacular, right? the Queen's vernacular, the, the gay slang. Wonderful words, and especially if you if you read that uh, little dictionary on on the Queen's vernacular, then you'll be amazed to see how many of those expressions um, started in South Africa. Sally, or suck, <laughs> uh, if you want to say Felicia, or uh, Laura is a lover, and Dora is a drink, an alcoholic drink, obviously, which I don't. I don't imbibe anymore because I am an healthy, so I can't. 